Well, hello and welcome back. Oh, so um, today I wanted to investigate and show off. Um, I'm making my EDC kits <clears throat> and I'm going to include things like um, foil impressioning, as I've already mentioned in some of my videos. So I've been making some tools to go into that and it's going to be a bit of a double video. I'm going to show off the tools that goes in there and also um, how the tools work. So let me just set up. So I'll give us a few seconds. I'll set this up and then we'll uh, we'll move into that. So um, keep watching. OK, so um, basically I've made some of these. Uh, these are the plastic ones. I've also made a few metal ones that I just need to slightly modify. But here, what this is actually is, um, it's one of these. This is something that comes in the foil impressioning kit and it, it's how you make the, uh, the foils. So um, um, normally you have this little triangle shaped tool and it, it fits in like this and you squash your foil in here. And um, that's how you make your foils. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I make these foils. Um, now, here's a few that I've made already. Oops, was I jumping? Messing around. So here's a few that I've made already. Um, just as a demonstration. And the only difference is that I, on this tool, it's got these slots. So you put the, the um, foil over this and you cut the slots in it. And these don't have the slots in. Um, doesn't actually, actually need that. Um, so instead of using this little triangle tool, I'm going to be making some of these, which is the blade that goes in. and this will, uh, this actually pushes it down. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Uh, I'm going to compare that with, this is an actual foil uh, that you buy as a pre-made. So the one on the left, if I just um, can zoom in, the one on the left has been made with this tool. And the one on the right is a pre-made foil. And the only difference really is that the pre-made foil has got those grooves in um, and it's supposed, to, it's supposed to do it so the pins fall in between each one and it doesn't, one doesn't affect the other, uh, the foil doesn't affect the other pins as they're, as they're being impressioned. So I'm just going to move all this out of the way and then get set up so that we can uh, do a demonstration on how to um, use this to make those foils. Keep watching. Right, so for this demonstration, um, this you can buy this uh, on Wish and Temu and places like that. Um, every now and then you see it. This is the one that I got in my red box, my large box with lots of different kinds of foil impression tools in. And it, there's a lot. You could probably make hundreds and hundreds with this. So basically what you do is um, you unfold it. Um, like so. And then what you do is you, you, you cut off a piece that is roughly around about a centimetre. You can always trim it down. You, if it's, you don't want to cut too much because you, you'll have too much waste. So you normally cut a strip because it's the right, it's the right thickness. So right with this way. So you cut off a piece like this. It's about a, about a centimetre. Um, move that out of the way. Um, here's one that I I cut earlier, slightly thinner actually, so they're roughly about a centimetre. So then what you do is you, uh, well, I'll tell you what I do, is that there's a, there's a groove here, see the groove? It runs all the way the full length. So we put our foil on, like this. I'll see what I do is I, I centralise it on one end and I just pinch it a little bit. Centralise it on the other end and I just pinch it a little tiny bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Put this on and I press it down like so. 
I'm push it down as far as it will go. And then what I do is I uh, just stick out this this bit here. Just going to zoom in a bit more for this one if I can. It, oh, well, let me zoom in. It will. There we go. So what I do is you need to cut off the excess. Put my finger on it like this. Oops, sorry, that was frame. And then I take a pair of scissors and I just trim as close to the plastic as I can. Just drop that out. Okay. So like I say, you just trim it, get it as close as you can. There's a reason that you want to try to get it close. Oops, my finger slipped off again. And then you turn it around, just fold it over. Oops, sorry, out of frame. Fold it over. And then just make sure that this bit is sticking out. And then you uh, just trim the other side again. Trying to take off as much as possible, get it as flush as you can, like this. It's actually a bit more. Oh, okay, out of frame. Sorry, because I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed in. Right. I'll just see if I can get that a bit closer. Yeah, there you go. So you want to try to get this as close as you possibly can. See, now I'm doing my demo on camera. So when you fold it down either side, like this, okay, and then what you do is uh, take off your the needle, take it out, and put a foil. Slightly longer on one side, but I don't get away with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out a bit. There we go. So I'm going to um, clear all this away and I'm going to take this foil and I'm going to um, see if we can use that homemade foil to foil impression a, um, a lock. OK, so keep watching. OK, time to try to foil impression this uh, dimple lock. I'm going to put the key in. In fact, I'll just show you the bitting on the key. Uh, this does carry security pins. The new versions of these locks actually are filled with security pins. This one has a couple of security pins in it. And so you see that that's working. Uh, this is a tool that I've uh, showed on my, it's an old key cut down on one side. Uh, I'll just show that the one with the bitting isn't, the, isn't, isn't for this lock. There you go. And that's the side we're going to foil impression. Okay, so we've got the uh, lock in the vise. I'll just show you this very quickly. Uh, that's the right key. Turns. There's a bitting on the our spur key, which doesn't work. And this side is the flap for the foil. That doesn't work either. So we take the foil, homemade foil. There's no slots in it, so it's not a bought foil. Pre-made. Um, it's one of the ones I made with our like plastic goes like this doesn't always work every time so bear with me um it works more often than not occasionally we get a miss so we just make sure that that fits into our groove easier when the camera's Ooh, it's a bit uh, easier when the, you're not working around the camera, so I can't see. Trying to insert this without without damaging it. Hopefully that's okay. So now we start to impression
I'm not gonna lie, I've had a few attempts at this and it didn't work. Um, I did one pre-practice and it worked first time. Sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it doesn't. If it was in a door, it would make it an awful lot easier. We go, we've gone. That's open. And that's uh, kind of stuck in there now. Oh, there you go. So there it is. It's very hard to tell. Ooh, what is it doing? It's hard to tell, but that's uh, kind of a foil impression version. Anyway. So that is a homemade tool and this will be going uh, along with these and some other ones in kits um, with some EDC kits. Uh, there'll be various versions of this and that's basically all I wanted to show you guys um, that I'm making tools now. Uh, so it's not only a case of having uh, pre-made ones, but with some, buying some of this foil which is cheaper actually cheaper than buying those because you get hundreds out of this when you get hundreds in there um i think it's roughly about the same price but yeah a lot more but you got to make them yourself but you know if you've got a tool to do it then what more do you need so anyway so there you go i thought i'd just show you that uh, sorry it's a bit of a long video but there's a lot a bit of a long process in uh, showing how it works thanks so much for watching uh as a real key you take care, you have a nice day, and I'll catch you again soon. And keep your eyes on for these EDC kits coming out as giveaways. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye now. Bye bye.